Hello and welcome. I am Raghav. And until now, we have discussed and studied some basic uh, things in Python, some operators, how do we use the Boolean expressions. We have seen conditional statements. Uh, we have seen if else. We have seen loops, while and for. We have also seen break, continue, pass statements. We studied about functions, list, tuples. There are a lot of other uh, you know collection data types that you can uh, check in Python. But now let us move to object oriented programming so in python so our python is a object oriented pro programming language so let us say and when we talk about object oriented programming we talk about classes and objects okay so in today's session we will see classes and objects and this is going to be very easy and very interesting you can do hands-on along with me and if you have any questions you can let me know and you will find all the links all the notes all the code that i'm going to write in the description of this video so the first thing i will go to my replit.com and here i'm going to create a new file first i will say classes and objects i'll say classes underscore objects dot py and i will go to the i'm just going to close these other tabs i will go to main.py and import it here so i will comment this and i will say import classes underscore objects okay now if i write something here i say print hello from classes underscore objects dot py and if I now save and run I'm getting this so this means that is working fine and we can continue with our session I will also close this sidebar so I hope this is now very clear to you so let us very quickly create a class and I will explain to you what we are doing in a moment let us very quickly do some hands-on so that you will find this very interesting so to create a class we use the keyword class and then whatever name you want to give to your class so i'm saying class my class and a colon so this is how we define the class and then we can create the we can add the attributes of the class here and attributes means data and functions that means any data any variable you want to put or any functions we can add in the class and for now i will just say pass we have seen uh, we use the pass statement when we don't have the ex exact code and we don't want to put a comment and we don't want to uh, we don't want they should throw any error so that's why i'm using pass for now let me just run and check and yes everything is fine so now let me now remove this pass and i will say or let me just keep it here so that you can find it in notes as well and it can be handy i will again create the class i will again using the same name and here i will create some data i am saying a equals 10 and i am also creating a function so we say def and i can give some function name let us say fec1 you can give any name here and colon and then inside the function i can say print and whatever you want hello now one thing here is if we are using a function inside a class we have to give a parameter self which is which is by default we have to give every time and this is how we use a function inside a class if it is outside even if we do not use the self parameter that will work but here we give the self parameter all right so this is a class having this data and this function so these are the attributes of the class okay now I will say uh, let me say let me call it this yeah this is fine okay I have changed the names of these classes all right so this is a class with this is how we create a class now I have to access the attributes of the class that is if I have to access any data or function for that I have to create a object and then I can access these attributes 
so we will create objects i will say creating objects and i will say to create an object and this is required to access the attributes of a class like the functions or the data all right so let us say i will call this object you can give any name i will say obg and then we give the class name which is my class and with the parenthesis so this is how we create object for a class we can give any name of the object make it equal to the class name along with the parenthesis now using this object called obj i can access the attributes that is the data a and the function fuc1 of this class so you can also see when i say obj dot you can see it is able to access the variable a of class and the function one so let's say i just will access function one and i will save and run and let us see what happens you can see it is able to access the function which is in turn printing hello what if i access the data which is a i am able to do this however if i have to print this i will surround it with a print statement i will say print obj dot a and now i will save and run and you can see it is printing the value of a and we can create multiple objects of a class so i can say obj1 equals my class then i can say obj2 equals my class i can create multiple objects like this and then let us say if i say obj1 dot a and i will print this and then i will also say print obj2 object2 dot a that means using object1 i am accessing the class variable or the data from class and then object2 using object2 again i am doing the same thing if i now run this let us see what happens so i am getting 10 and 10 so it is able to access the data and printing the value however i can also change i can say obj1 dot a equals 20 and obj2 dot a equals 30 and now if i print them again let us see what happens i will save and run and you can see now it is printing 20 and 30 so the value for class variable a for obj1 is now 20 and for obj2 it is 30 so this is how we can also change the data in a class using objects and we can access the data of a class or the attributes of a class using object okay so here this is we have to remember python is an object oriented programming language and when we say object oriented programming language we use classes and objects now if you are completely new to object oriented programming i will suggest that you watch my video if you just go to uh, if you see if you search for classes and objects by my name you will see a video yes you can see uh, this video i created in the java playlist this is number nine what is object oriented programming and how to create classes and objects and in this video i have explained from scratch from very basics what is object oriented programming and how do we what are objects what are classes in a very simple and easy way so if you want you can check this video it will be very easy and uh, you can also see the 10th video how to create classes and objects here also it is not uh, specific to a programming language although i created these videos for java playlist but these two videos are generic you can use it for any programming language any object in object related programming language i have explained this with examples i will also keep the links in the description of this video so python is also an object oriented programming language and object oriented means we use classes and objects where
object or I can say class is a collection of data and functions and object is an instance of a class okay and this is something we have already seen practically and we can also say in other words class is a blueprint for an object so think of it like uh, you create a blueprint of a house where you have the design and description of the house using that blueprint you can create multiple houses so this blueprint will be a class and the actual houses that you create using this blueprint will be the objects and similarly class is a blueprint and object are the instance of a class and using the class we can create multiple objects okay now let us say one more thing that you will find in python is let us say i create a class i'll call it as let us say my class one and here i say a equals 10 and i create a function called uh, i will have to use different names i'm saying my class 2 and i'm creating a function called hello and here i'm printing hello world okay now in python when we define a class an object of the same name as the class name is automatically created so we have created this class class 2 so an object by the same name class my class 2 is automatically created that means if i say print my class 2 dot a it should be able to access this class attribute a and should be able to print it so let us just try and check i am running this and yes you can see it is printing this so an object by the same class name is by default created in python whenever you define a class okay also uh, let us say okay let me create one more example and it will be very clear to you the classes and objects and object oriented programming now there are a lot of concepts in object oriented programming and we will see some of those let us say i create a class and i call it uh, let me say calculate and here i will have some function i will have a function called add and i am get taking some arguments self is by default there and then i am taking num1 and num2 and then i am returning the sum of num1 plus num2 i have one more function called multiply here again i am taking two attributes num1 and num2 and here i am returning the multiplication of num1 and num2 okay so this is our class let me see there is some error here what does it say duplicate argument okay it should be num1 and num2 all right so we have created this class which has two functions add and multiply the add function is taking num1 and num2 as the arguments and returning the addition of these two numbers multiply function is again taking two numbers and returning the multiplication of these two numbers so now i will create objects so i'm coming out of the class and let us say i create an object called calculate one or let me just say cal one i will say equal to calculate and then i can say print or i can just say cal one dot add and i have to give two numbers i am saying two and three similarly i will call the function 
multiply using this object and again I will pass two numbers let us say 3 and 4 okay now if I run this this is running fine there are no errors however it is not printing anything because we do not have the print statements within the functions so I can either add print statements within the functions or I can just print whatever is returned so I can surround this calling of the function through object with a print statement so whatever is returned will be printed so now I will run this and yes now you can see it is printing 5 which is the addition of 2 and 3 and 12 which is the multiplication of 3 and 4 okay so this is how we can create classes and objects in python i hope this was very useful you can try some more examples you can try some examples online and you can do some hands-on and let me know if you face any issues i will see you soon thank you for watching and never stop learning